welcome to our channel. And today we're going to read another Aesop Tales story. And this story is The Lake of the Moon. Let's get into this story. Once upon a time, many hares lived on the shores of the Lake of the Moon. The water in the lake was healing and sacred, protected from the harsh glare of the sun by the moon's cool gaze. Hmm, looks like this moon is very bright. And maybe this lake was made by the moon because it's called the Lake of the Moon. Hmm, I wonder what it's, I wonder what the rest of the story is going to be like. Let's continue. The hares were happy there, and they were grateful to the moon for, the, for her generous gifts. One year, a drought hit the land, and all the rivers and streams and lakes dried up. Oh no, maybe the lake of the moon also dried up, and now those hares don't have food or water. Let's see what happened. A herd of elephants began, began to wander all day, day after day, searching for water. They cringed at the sight of their watering holes, for these were dry as dust. Oh, we all know how dust looks like. It's like very dry and stringy. But it's so dry, and always an elephant's trunk is kind of wet because they suck water. Oh boy, looks like they didn't have water for a long time. They plodded for miles and miles, and when they grew too weak from, their, from thirst and hunger, they sent their scouts on out in search of water. Looks like the scouts are, have went to search water because they're all energized. But the, but the elephants who weren't the scouts like before went, they're really tired because they were walking day after day. Let's see what happened. The scouts traveled far and wide. And one day, they came to the Lake of the Moon. They were amazed at the sight of this fresh, full, glistening lake. And they quickly returned home to tell their comrades of their glorious find. Oh, no, 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 no. Not the Lake of the Moon, elephants. I wonder what the hares are going to do now. Let's see. When the elephants heard about the Lake of the Moon, their spirits revived, and with fresh hope, they talked amongst themselves. Oh my goodness, look at how surprised and happy and revived are they. Let's see what happens. We must go there, they told their king, and so they gathered and decided it as, as one that all the elephants would travel together. We'll bathe again, they cried. Oh my goodness, what a cheerful sound. Oh, but now, what are the hares going to do because it's their lake? Let's see what's going to happen now. We'll drink to our heart's content, they sighed. We'll splash and swim and sip, gurgle and guzzle. Ooh, look at those elephants. They really want to go there and drink a ton of water. Let's see what happens now. And off they set, trundling in a great rumbling herd toward the Lake of the Moon. When the first elephant spotted the lake, they let out calls for joy. Oh my goodness, look at those elephants. They're so, 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 so happy. Oh, but wait, it's the hare's lake. 
So, the hares might have an idea to not make the elephants drink from the lake because it's very special to them. Let's see what's going to happen or what's going to be happening. We made it! They trumpeted and they be all began to run. The sight of this beautiful lake, deep and cool and glistening, thrilled them. Now the hares had appointed some of their number to guard their lake. When the hare guards saw the elephants, they hurried to warn their fellows, trying to them to find shelter. They carried smaller hares to safer hiding spots. They squealed and shouted to their comrades, Move, hide, run! Oh my goodness, well elephants are like so huge, hares are like pretty small, so that elephants might crush them. Let's see what happens. Alas, the elephants were thirsty and hot, and they were charging blindly. They paid no attention to the hares in their pack. They never noticed sleeping hares and hares sitting with families enjoying the day. The elephants saw only water. As they charged, they accidentally trampled innocent hares. Oh no, the elephants are way too heavy for those little hares. Oh, well, that's really mean or really sad. Let's see what happens to those hares or what the hare might do. When the elephants reach the lake, they plunged in and bathed and drank and swam and spotted water from their trunks. And when they climbed out, relieved to be cool and no longer thirsty, the hares began to peek out of their hiding places. The hares gathered and called upon their king. Help us, they said. The elephants are sure to take over our lake, and we will lose our sacred place. Oh no, looks like those hares are losing their home. Looks like some sort of hare is supposed to come with an idea. Let's see. Never fear, said the king of the hares. I know exactly what to do. Of course he did. And this is why he was the king. Of course, kings are smart. That's why they're the king. The very next day, the hare, the hare king went to visit the elephant king. Hello, good sir, said the hare king. My mistress, the moon, has sent me here to see you. And I must give you a warning. A warning for all the elephants. What is that? asked the curious elephant king. He could not imagine what sort of warning the hare had for him. The moon is very angry with you for visiting her lake. She says that she says she will never forgive you if you do this again. If you decide you must come to her lake, she will stop shining down on you, and the sun's rays will dry up this lake too, and nowhere will be a relief. Ha! said the Elephant King. I do not believe you. Come then, said the King of the Hares, and he led the Elephant King to the edge of the lake. Look there! said the Hare King. Look into that lake. What do you see? Oh, looks like that King Hare has a really great idea. I wonder what the idea is. Let's see. When the elephant looked down, he saw the moon's face staring her up at him. She looked salmon indeed. You see that look on her face? said the wise Hare. She is plotting her revenge upon your herd. The elephant king was alarmed. 
I am so sorry, Moon, he mumbled. I have no intention of insulting you. And he stuck his trunk into the water, hoping Moon would take hold of it and a gesture of forgiveness. But when Elephant stuck his trunk into the water, the moon disappeared. She's gone, he gasped. She will all forgive you only if you leave her lake, said the king of the hares. And so the, the elephant nodded. He raised his trunk out of the water and... And there, once more, was Moon. I will leave now, said the king of the elephants, and he called his tribe to him, and the herd walked away, and never again did the elephants visit the lake of the moon. Looks like those elephants learned a great lesson. Hmm. Next time, those elephants should never, ever, ever come to the lake of the moon. The moral of this story is, wisdom can overcome might. Make sure everyone really, really observe this moral because one day this can really help you. I hope you like this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and always be watching our videos. See you later. Bye-bye.